Okay, YouTube goers, um, me being the smart aleck that I am, and I was wanting to hook my uh, computer, my new laptop. My family swapped computers, and I got the laptop. I wanted to, and it's got an S video port out, plus the uh, regular monitor. But I don't want to have that giant thing on my desk. I've got it. This and my Mac. It's pretty much a full desk. So what I decided to do is I had at one point an S video cable and then an adapter that went from an S video to a composite so I could hook it up to my TV. Which has right now hooked up to my computer. As you can see, the uh see it moving around but um and I'm gonna make the final touch ups on the cable and I'll let you see it for some reason they say you're supposed to use a capacitor uh let me take a look at what kind of capacitor you're supposed to use you're supposed to use a A 700, a 470 PF chromatic, chromatic capacitor. I didn't. I don't have a capacitor on it at all. Ignore this. This didn't do anything. Didn't do squat. But um, sorry about that. I was couldn't see my camera shot. Um. So now what I am going to do is make the final touch-ups on it. Uh, as in solder my wire connections together and actually and show you basically what I did. Okay guys, here's my S video cable. It came with an old DVD player, it had this end on it. Uh portable DVD player. So I had this, so this would be the part that would plug into the DVD player. So what I did is I cut that off and I separated them so I could tell which sides were the ground. The top two pins, the one up here with the black little thing at the top. Whoa. That is not focused. There you go. You can kind of see it, the, so the shiny pins. The one up here by my thumb, that's pin one. The one up here by my pointing finger at the top, that's pin two. Bottom, right by my thumb, is pin three. And this one is pin four. And the top two are grounds, and the other two are data. And you're supposed to put the capacitor on the two bottom ones. But I didn't do that, so. And, uh, we had a huge TV that died and had a ton of these RCA ports. In fact, I built like a little box uh, in the corner over there. It's out of all these RCA plugs. And, uh, you have to wire the ground, the two grounds from this, to the ground from the RCA plug. Then you wire the data from the RCA to the data on the uh, S video cable. And now I'm going to finalize these connections by soldering them together. Let's focus that. focus use my eye toy camera alright and I believe the proper way to solder is to heat up the wire and apply the solder that's what I'm doing
sorry about all the smoke, but that's what happens when you solder. As you saw that big old puff of smoke. Now time for this side. Alright, well that's done. And I don't want to touch this thing because so what you know this is a Radio Shack 100 watt soldering gun from like the 90s. Uh, bulb on the front. Be very careful. I just use this thing until it's really hot. Haven't changed the iron ever. So, all right. Um, this back, and I'm gonna get some electrical tape. used other kinds of electrical tape in the past. There's this one kind. It's like a cloth electrical tape. Best stuff I've ever used. Oh my gosh, it works so well. I know, it's kind of weird I'm talking about electrical tape in that kind of a way, but hey, you don't want it to die on you, you know? Don't expect you to answer back, because what? The only way you can answer back is through comments. And I'm not quite sure what to name this video, but I'll think of something. And take this end off. You can see that. off and my S video plug and composite plug what you saw at the beginning of the video was me testing there's my composite cable from my TV I'm gonna plug this back up it's really hard to do with one hand there we go and plug video into the uh, back of the laptop, which is this port right here. That's what the S video port looks like. by the way, so it's going to flicker, and that is my uh, jerry-rigged S-video cable to composite, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and this is my first video with my laptop, and by the way, it is a Toshiba, satellite. Mine's a 4 and M450. Great laptop. Recommend it. Got some features like a memory card reader on the front. And 
I'm gonna need to get a new wireless card for it and a new battery. Once I do that, this thing's ready to rock and roll. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video, and I am run over 10 minutes.